this was Axios actually did this, that these are actual printed out <laughs> instructions from staff Dude, this is embarrassing, for man. Joe Biden. Let's zoom in on this like like more <laughs> zoom in on it more the walk to the podium one. So this is showing a picture of what the pathway looks like. It's a pop it's a pop out book. <laughs> to the podium. Now go to the next one. This is this is terrifying. It literally this is what he had whenever he walks out with those sheets, this is what he's looking at. Mm -hmm. Someone went and took a photograph. Mm -hmm. of it's, the it's, it's scratch and sniff too, so he knows what the floor smells like. And then actually <laughs> had to put in bold letters walk to podium. It's not even walk to the podium, nothing. It's elementary words. Walk to <laughs> podium in a photograph <laughs> attached to it. All that's missing walkway. is a dotted line. That's yeah, it. That is arrow. it. Like you stand here. <laughs> like the little dance steps. <laughs> like, you know, this, this is not normal. So much so that they reached out to former, uh, can, can we go, um, oh, who would have put it on there? Max Miller. Uh, go to Max Miller's Twitter. Um, and Max Miller made a comment about this, and let's see if we can find it, because Max Miller used to be involved in the Trump campaign before he got involved in Congress. Uh, and he basically stated, uh, this is not normal. Not uh, at all. You, you'll have a basic, like, run a show, like, hey, you're going to walk up to the podium, blah, 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 blah. We will lead you to the backstage. But walking to – I've I've spoken at a lot of things. Can, oh, can you read this, Todd? I can't. It's too small. Yeah. Uh, when I was director of advance, we never had to do that for President Trump. Yikes. Yeah, okay, yeah. So the advance party is the party they go, they scope out the event, you know, that mm -hmm. they know where the president needs to enter in through Secret Service and all this other kind of stuff. And then they put you backstage. I've spoken at many of an event, all right? And they lead you backstage, but the whole getting to the podium part, no one has ever one time had to instruct me <laughs> on how to walk and where to walk to a podium of which I'm speaking to. You, know you know remember I mean? you remember a couple of weeks ago when he was on stage and uh, he almost he looked like he was pooping his pants. I, yep. I bet somebody had those sheets up and they mixed up stand up and sit down and go to the bathroom. That's why he mm, yeah, that's why bro. he started going to the bathroom on stage I just, there. I, Dude, ladies and gentlemen, they're not even trying to hide it nope. anymore. OK, this is again, this is not like, oh, everybody's realizing it all of a sudden. You think they just started doing this for Joe Biden? No. It's been this way the whole time. Don't you remember how many <laughs> no. times we saw the list of like the names of people he's allowed to call? And the question that they were going to ask. And the yes. questions I asked and their faces. So he would be able to find them. They've been doing this since the beginning it's like that little game where you know you have a bunch of faces and it's like does he have where's he wear glasses no <laughs> click 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 okay anyway, this guy asked they're that guy. doing this because it is on purpose and the purpose is to replace joe biden this comes from us uh to us from trending politics let's go to this here let's read this article all right uh push to replace biden expected to heat up uh to quote a uh, bad word is going to hit the fan. Uh, Todd, can you read a little bit of this article? Sure. The Democratic Party has been gripped by a growing sense of panic in the aftermath of President Biden's catastrophic debate performance against former President Trump last week. Many elected officials are worried that Biden's presence on a Democratic ticket could sink vulnerable lawmakers in the House and Senate to lose their races, prompting many to push for his replacement. A number of House Democrats, as well as a handful of governors and senators, have called on President Biden to step down in recent days. Senator Mark Warner from Virginia is attempting to gather a coalition of Democrats senators aimed at calling on the president to not seek re-election while five House Democrats have already called for his removal from the ticket. Others have provided tentative critiques of the president without explicitly calling on him to step down. There are concerns with the impact on down-ballot races if the president doesn't do well, Adam Schiff says on Meet the Press. Schiff is currently locked in a U.S. Senate race with former baseball star Steve Garvey. At present, our down-ballot candidates in the Senate and House are doing well, Schiff continued, pointing to polls showing Democrats outperforming Biden in a number of key Senate races. They are running well ahead of President Biden, but you can only run so far ahead of the president. The Russian collusion hoax architect did concede that voters are concerned about Biden's age and his fitness. Yeah, and also the other inside baseball is, and The Hill is actually reporting on this, 
that just this weekend there was a meeting with Democratic minority leader uh, leader Hakeem Jeffries mm-hmm. and all these people. I am telling you that I'm telling you that I'm telling you. I would not be – see, what people are forgetting is so far Joe Biden has really only officially met with his family. Uh, Barack ain't got there yet. Uh, Hakeem Jeffries and all them have not gotten to him yet. They are going, all of this is being used as ammo. The whole Parkinson's, the whole, the whole decline. Like they, they put him on this, this, this volleyball, like loft, like just lay up for him to land it with this Stephanopoulos guy or whatever his name is. And he didn't. Now <clears throat> it wasn't bombed to the point that it was in the debate, but it was nothing even close to a slam dunk by any means. Uh, he lied so many times and got so many things mixed up. And, and it just, he is going to be kicked out. Everything that's happening right now, the meetings that are happening behind closed doors, all these physician things that are being leaked now that we've known for forever. Who's leaking the freaking pop up fine Waldo pictures for him to like know where to walk to? Okay. They put him in front of live TV again. All right, at a black church, and the dude can't even figure out when to stand up. There was another video we didn't show you where the pastor or the reverend gives him $100 and is trying to instruct him, like, no, you're supposed to put that in the offering plate. He doesn't know because he's completely lost his mind. Last week, they admitted to the fact that they only have him do things between 10 to 4 because he has sundown syndrome, which is... Mm -hmm. Linked to Alzheimer's, dementia, all this stuff. This is all being leaked on purpose because they are, they are, as the legal team would call it, they are forming their case against Joe Biden and the real powers that be, the Obamas, the Clintons, Hakeem Jeffrey, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer. They have not had closed doors meetings with Biden yet. Biden will resign. I got a Biden question for you will, guys. Well, not resign. Biden will not seek reelection. I got a question for you guys. Yeah. Uh, the last few days, I've seen uh, a lot of Democratic uh, <laughs> people come out and they're saying that if he stays in the race, there's there's uh, danger of them losing House seats, Senate seats, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, a few weeks ago, or three weeks ago, we were talking about even if Trump were to win the White House, that we were in danger of losing the majority in the House or the Senate. Now it seems to be flipping a little bit or switching a little bit because of the disastrous debate that Biden did. Yes. How 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 strong do you think that is that we have the upper hand right now with the House and the Senate uh, races coming up in the in November? Huge. Yeah, if he stays in the race, we're golden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like huge. we're golden. Which brings me to the point of why Joe Biden will not seek reelection because of what you just said, Tony. I mean, you you just hit the nail on the head. And we've talked about this scenario many times. Even if they're all bought in on Biden and they're willing to lose the presidency as long as they Mm -hmm. lock up the House and the Senate, they can still stop Trump from doing what he's doing. But Joe Biden's doing so bad that now they're on track to lose all three. Okay, Mm -hmm. Uh, that can't happen and that cannot be allowed to happen. Uh, But it doesn't stop there. Now there's also a push, apparently, uh, rumblings in the wind about Kamala Harris. Okay. And so this is coming from the Hill and this is why Democrats must now push out Kamala Harris. So in other words, the Hill is acknowledging that Biden's done. That's an acknowledgement right there. Like there is no way Biden stays in the race that because they say why, why the Democrats must now push out Kamala Harris Todd, read this for us a little bit. It has been reported that aides and allies of Vice President Kamala Harris are upset that her name is not coming up in conversations about which Democrat might best replace President Joe Biden at the convention in late August. Should it come to that? The part that adds insult to injury for the vice president and her close supporters is that these conversations are originating with fellow Democrats or liberal pundits. Since Biden's disastrous debate performance against President Trump on June 27th, We have consistently seen the names of California Governor Gavin Newsom, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, Maryland Governor Wes Moore, Pennsylvania Governor Shapiro, and even Secretary of Transportation Pete, yeah, Buttigieg, thrown into the mix. 
uh, often absent from many of those lists of who might replace Joe Biden is his own vice president. Why? It's quite easy to understand. Once one accepts the premise that many in the liberal mainstream media hate Trump with an unhinged passion and want anyone to defeat him in November, Exhibit A, and all of this being the New York Times, time and time again they've rallied to the defense of Biden anytime anyone dared to raise the now obviously legitimate concern that his cognitive decline might render him unsuitable for a second term. The Times, as recently highlighted in the Wall Street Journal, published a seemingly slanted defense of Biden by blaming concerns about his physical and mental frailties on a distorted online version of himself, a product of often misleading videos that play into and reinforce voters' longstanding concerns with his age and abilities. In other words, yes, the New York yeah. Times was pushing the White House cheap fake smears until it wasn't. What a difference one debate that could be staged, managed by Biden's White House handlers or liberal media outlets makes. As if the editorial writers of the New York Times had just touched an electrified third rail with wet hands. They were instantly shocked in contorting their Biden protecting selves into a call for Biden to drop out of the way. race. What well, it makes perfect sense that if you believe the Times and almost every left center media outlet that has little or no use for Biden, they're only willing to pretend to stay in his corner as long as he had a chance to fulfill the mission that consumes their minds, defeating Trump True. at any cost. They still haven't said why. Let me hold on. Let me go. Again, while multiple names are being banded about, many seem to agree as to who should not replace Joe Biden, and that's Kamala Harris. First and mm. foremost, because many believe she is simply and truly a lousy candidate. Back in 2020, her campaign for the Democratic nomination imploded so quickly that she didn't even make it to the Iowa caucus. It was like three months, right? Yeah, exactly. Beyond that, uh, it has been the Democrats who have talked about Harris browbeating staff members into quitting, Harris dropping the ball, managing the southern border, of Harris not being up to demands of the vice presidency, let alone the presidency. Anyone who cares to take a minute to do an internet search will find those stories more and more. Yeah. Go ahead and kick her out. See what happens. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She is going to kick they, her out. They have a huge problem. I mean, if they get rid of and, Biden and they God, and they don't back it. Harris, Man, I think their whole party the is going to implode. Freaking NAACP will go crazy. Can we go, to the article, can we go to the article we have that they have a better chance with an open convention? Can, can, can we go to that? Don't we have that article in yeah, here right somewhere? Here. Okay, let's go to that. All right, GOP pollster says, and this is the GOP saying this. All right, so... In my opinion, I'd take that to the bank more because this is a person that mm -hmm. doesn't want the Democrats to win. Right. Uh, GOP pollster says Democrats are far better with open convention than sticking with Biden or Harris. Todd, read this for us a little bit. Why? Why would they be better with gotcha. open convention? Uh, Republican pollster said Democrats are better off holding an open convention than putting Biden or Harris on the ticket. Whit Aries, the founder of North Star Opinion Research, said on News Nation's The Hill Sunday – that neither Biden nor Harris were able to defeat President Trump in the presidential election next fall. His comments come following a lackluster debate performance Biden last month, which prompted concerns within the Democrat Party of whether he is the best candidate to put forward. Democrats are much better off having an open convention where they can bring somebody new to the floor who is, would be, a credible president, he said on Sunday. I think they're far better off doing that than they are sticking with either Biden or Harris, both of whom are almost assured to lose to Donald Trump. I can't disagree with that statement at all. Um, let's see. You Biden know the is... only candidate potentially that's been put up against Trump that shows that they would win? Mm -hmm. Michelle uh, Obama. Michelle Obama. Yeah. That, She's I, the only one. That's the only one that can beat him. Newsom loses. Whitmer loses. Harris loses. Biden loses. Buttigieg loses. Uh, Shapiro loses or whatever. Um, Whitmer, gone. Whitmer, all of them. The only person that beats Trump in a hypothetical poll is Michelle Obama. That's and all that, I'm that could Tom's be why man. they're freaking out so much because maybe she has told them no, and maybe that's why they're scattering and eating each other alive right now. I mean, I'm just I, I don't saying know. that here's what I do know. Even Kamala has a better chance than Biden, like like across the board. Because oh, at yeah. least at yep. least she can semi debate. 
yeah, she has a lot of idiotic takes, mm -hmm. but at least she can semi debate. Well, if we yeah. go to the clip, can she of Biden, Because she's gonna, she's just talks in circles the whole yeah, time. Yeah, but, about but Trump buses. can't attack her the way he would. Correct, uh, he can't uh, attack a, her a white because, male because she'll, 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 she'll do the whole. I, excuse me, I'm speaking. I'm yes, speaking, and he I'm can't do nothing with that. And you know, the only demographic that by, that Trump is not up in right now. Any, guess, any guesses? Is it, is it middle aged women? Stay at home moms. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Stay at home well, moms. That's always been the case. Up Biden. Uh, that that in there, the only demographic that are still up Biden over Trump. And so Kamala Harris could pull the whole, excuse me, I'm speaking, mm -hmm. I'm speaking. And then the stay at home moms would be like, yeah. Stop mansplaining her. Let her speak. <laughs> exactly. Kamala, I think is the Karen is the leader of the Karens. Well, yeah. Yes, I mean she is the Drunk ultimate Karens. Karen. Uh, can we go to again? This was just the other day. Can we go to uh, Biden's clip saying that uh, he was a Philadelphia senator? Oh yeah. Even though yes. he was a senator for yes. Delaware. What? Well, like hey, it was it years. was Philadelphia, Delaware. I mean, come on. Philadelphia, ain't that, ain't that a thing? All right, play this. This is and this is this is not. This is literally two days ago. Okay, play it. But look, uh, even when I was running for Senate, any yeah. time I ran, quite Fetterman frankly, in the back joke, of Philadelphia in particular, got me across the line. <laughs> Did you see Fetterman turn? No, Go no, back no, when he no, says Philadelphia. I mean, I mean, organizationally. And in terms pause. Of fundraising pause. You know what deal. he did? He just admitted to that they've been rigging elections. Yeah. For 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 decades. Well, Fetterman, uh, Uncle Philadelphia Fetterman's standing back there, the and he goes, "Oh gosh." Oh gosh. And then can we go to the clip, uh, the audio clip of him talking about? The black female <laughs> president, or whatever it is, just <laughs> the first female black vice let's, president. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. So cool. By the way, I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, first black woman, <laughs> served with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to have all the first black woman in the Supreme Court. There's just so oh. much go back, that we can do go back. because. I thought for a minute he I thought he was going to say like when he was vice president to Barack Obama but then it went black female president just play it. Oh god. By the way I'm proud to be as I said the first vice president first black woman mm -hmm. served with a black president mm -hmm. I'm proud of the the first black woman in the Supreme oh, Court there's just so god. much. Joe that Biden so just admitted to so being great. the first black woman. Now Congratulations, black Joe. Woman <laughs> Congratulations, the first black Joe. Woman. He's identifying as a black she, woman. God created man and woman in his image, but by goodness, Joe Biden, first black woman. There, there. He admitted to so it. So great. And so therefore it is written.